Okay, so here we have our 30 gauge wire. I just want to show you how I have this laid out here in my winder so that you can uh, duplicate it. You'll see that we've got the, um, this side here as an open gap on the uh, bobbin. So I'm going to actually use that to my advantage so that we can see clearly how this is running. So our wire uh, D, our high voltage uh, wire that comes off here to the CFL is this wire. It's going to come out through here. I'm running it over to here and I'm temporarily twisting it onto this lead down here. That's just to hold it secure as I begin to wind. Uh, this is very important that you catch that I'll be winding it this direction. So looking at it, we're going to be winding downward away from our... S down this way. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. In winding it that way, one, one question just... or one thing I want to point out is that when we wind it that way, this is going to come along here. It's going to form a nice, clean, tight bend, and it's going to wrap around here, and this is not going to be loose or spanning the uh, the winds that come up above here. If this was out here at an angle or in any way touching these these winds that are going to build up out here, this would arc between there and burn out your uh, transformer. So, let's start winding it. Okay, I've started to wind it. You can see that I'm coming along here. I've got a nice clean bend here with the uh, exiting wire, wire D, our high voltage uh, output. And I'm just going to uh, come along here and keep nice, uh, tight, even winding. You don't want uh, any of these crossing over themselves. You want just a nice, clean, smooth, a beautiful wind up to this side. That would be our first layer. So I'll go ahead and finish layer one, and uh, we'll come back then. Just doing a little video here so you can see the winding process. This is a hand uh, winder that I've built. It makes winding coils so much easier. So anyway, you can just see that we're wrapping along here, layer one. So when I get here to the end, we'll uh, start back over on layer two. I'm not using any uh, separator between the layers. I know that's something people have had a question about, but just layer on layer. So I'll start here again on layer two. Okay. Now we're coming back across with uh, layer two. You can see that there. One thing I'll point out, I'll stop here and point out that it's important that here in the uh, edge, that you wind right down into the edge and that you start your next layer just directly on top and not get big gaps or spaces in there. Because if you do, it will come back and uh, haunt you later. But anyway. Here we go, layer two coming on. So what I'm going to do, let me just stop here and say, because this is the same process every layer, so I'm going to, we'll come back later um, when this is basically done. But what I will do is I'll keep track of, I'll write down and keep track of how many layers I have. And that's going to be the indication of um, how many layers you'll need to do in replicating this. You pretty much fill it out all the way here to uh, to the edge of this circle. You'll see there's kind of an indentation of a circle here. You'll pretty much fill it out to within a oh an eighth inch of that area. But I'll get you the exact number of layers that I use here. So we'll be back then. Okay, I've wrapped on uh, 21 layers, and uh, the main thing you want is make sure you bring it out to see where you just have enough room for one layer of tape and then your uh, one last layer of wire, your larger gauge wire. But anyway, 21 layers on this one. So you can also see that we're here, uh, here's the notch, or the, the larger groove we started in with our high voltage output, and it's tucked down in there nice and tight. You can see we're not having any trouble with that arcing over. So that's good. So now let me get you, I need to get you a measurement. We need to leave an extended piece of this wire coming out here, and I just need to measure that. Okay just so that this doesn't I confuse anybody, I'll show what I've done. I've taken the uh, wire, the, I've stopped winding at 21 layers, and I'm taking this wire and I'm running out 6 feet all the way over to there, that's 6 feet out, and then I'm running back. And I'm going to cut the wire here at this point. So basically I'm going to leave an extension of 12 feet, but I'm bending in half at the 6, way, six foot point. So let me cut the wire here and I'll be right back. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to twist this wire around itself. And uh, that's kind of a trick, especially trying to hold a camera in one hand, but I'll see if I can get it uh, started here. OK, 
Okay, so I've taken it and you know I've started to twist it here and uh, what I've done is I've started the twisting, I've brought it out and I've wrapped it around this lead and that's just so that I can continue to twist it. You want to be careful when you're doing this because if you break it at this point you've got to unwind some more and you it's just a not a good thing so carefully continue to twist this so the two wires twist and wrap around themselves until you uh, come out here and twist all six feet together. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have six feet of a tightly wound wire and I'm just going to continue to wind this on and we'll exit it onto this uh, terminal right here. Okay, so now what I've done is I've uh, wound it on. I wound it up and down this coil about six times and uh, you know, just spaced the windings out. So I just went back and forth, back and forth as I wound it. I now have the uh, end right here and I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to uh, strip off this enamel covering on the wire and I'm going to solder it onto this uh, point right here. Okay, so you can see that I have this coming off here, terminating here, and solder down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take one more six foot piece of wire. And I'm going to attach it to this point. So this point's actually going to have three uh, wires coming off it. So let me get that ready and we'll hook it up. Okay, so now I have the uh, third wire attached to this point here. So now with this wire, instead of winding it the same way we wound on all the other wire, we're actually going to wind it this way. We're going to come up and around this way before we were winding down this way. So now we're going to bring this um, through here and we're going to wind it this way onto the uh, spool here. I'll go up and down a uh, couple times. I tend to like to go up and down a few times and then um, on both the twisted wire as well as this wire just wind four or five times around in line with itself down here. So I'm going to wind this wire on and I'll be right back. Okay, so this last wire, this single wire is going to come on and it's going to attach over here like this. I need to uh, strip off the enamel but I'll attach and solder right there. So we have our high voltage wire that we started with exiting out in there. We've got our um, twisted wire as well as this third wire attached here and this third wire finally is coming over here and exiting and we'll attach it right there. So. Let me solder that on and uh, we're almost done with this. Okay, so now we're ready to last the or to attach the last lead on these uh, fine 30 gauge wires. The next wire that we put on this will be the larger uh, gauge uh, wire, the outside uh, primary. But anyway, let me just show you this wire. I, I spoke of the way it exits previously, and you really want it to come out clean right down here where we started the high voltage wire. We want it to come on the inside of this channel and wind onto this lead. Um, let me see if I can do this while I'm holding the camera. This is always a trick, but here we go. We'll wrap it on like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a black electrical tape. I'm going to put a thin layer. I'm going to go around once on this side one time around and then I'm going to come down uh, one more time around over on this side so that the whole uh, section of wire is covered. So, I'll do that. Okay, so what I'm going to use next on this is this, um, well they're calling it bell wire here. This is just a uh, 20 gauge uh, wire with a uh, nice uh, insulating covering on it. So anyway, this 20 gauge wire on it will go on it next. Um, I'll wrap it on here. I'll show you which direction you wrap it and how you wrap it on. Okay, so I've attached the wire to this lead here. This is the opposite side that we had started with, with these uh, little wires. So we've got our high voltage out, the uh, three wires that come into here kind of form a trigger, trigger coil, and uh, this um, exiting wire over here. But on this side, we're going to start right here. And we're going to start by winding this on in this direction, winding up. We start over here initially with our high voltage wire winding down. This wire we're going to come on, we're going to be winding up this way. So just remember that this one's going to be coming the opposite way that we started with these little guys. Kind of like this last little wire that's here, it was also wrapped on the opposite way. So I'm going to wrap it on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've wrapped one full layer on here. Now we've started over here, I've come up, it's, it's um, finishing right here and I've actually come up and through this groove I'm doing that so that I can bend back around through this groove and come down over to here. Um, if you've looked at the Fuji camera transformers you'll see that, that they do something similar. I'm just using sorry guys about the uh, the camera here I'm trying to, to 
I do two things at once, but you can see I formed a loop through there. I'm going to pull that tight. I'll bring it down and solder it on here. So, let me solder that on. I'll be right back. Okay. So, there you have it. All wound up. Let's uh, just hope that uh, if we did it correctly, that we can now fit our uh, ferrite core on here. Let me just see. Sometimes it's depending on how well you you made it, maybe a tight fit, but right there we go. Just like that. So that's it, folks. Sorry it took so long in getting the uh, video out to everybody, but hopefully that's helpful in uh, winding your own Fuji circuit or Fuji camera style transformer for a uh, jewel ringer or whatever else you want to experiment with. So. Let's all keep experimenting. This is fun stuff. Okay, so here's our finished uh, transformer that we wound. And it is running. It works just fine. It's running this uh, CFL here. You can hear it uh, clicking away there. We have no uh, external power into this circuit. This is just running off this one electrolytic capacitor here. We have a biflare wound coil here. And um, my transistor here and the pot here. It's exactly the same as my original schematic except for these uh, germanium diodes. I put a pot right there to control it. So there it is folks. You can uh, follow these instructions. You can wind your own transformer cores and quit using the uh, Fuji, the little Fuji uh, camera transformers and uh, experiment with uh, jewel ringers and all kinds of other stuff. Jewel thieves and all that good stuff. So I'm going to just crank the, the, uh, the pot here on this a little bit. So there it goes. It is ringing away. So yep, let's just uh, all keep experimenting. Hopefully this uh, video is helpful for those who are uh, trying to wind their own transformers. And let's just uh, keep keep on experimenting. This is fun stuff.